In this code.org lesson, we are going to be taking a closer look at the process and order in which a program runs. It sounds simple, but it isn't? Well, it is. Well, it's both. And it's important. Let's dive in. This is code.org. Let's get going. All right, here we are. We have three blocks. We can use up to four. Let's see what this does. Plop, I move forward. Plop, I move forward. Oh, I, I got to get there? Oh, well, then I think I just need... Right? Let's give that a shot. Ta-da! Onward. Well, this is looking pretty similar, maybe a bit different. All right, so let's see what we have so far. I always like to check it out. Run. Right. Whoa. Oh, yeah, that's not good. So I think I needed to take another hop, right? Because code runs in order. When I hit run, I move, I move, then I turn right. Let's see. Yep. And then what? Move forward. Move. Oh, hey, we did it. Onward. All right, let's see. Move forward. Well, this is way too many blocks. But wait, let's see what it does, though. Step, step. Yikes. No. Okay. So now I can always use step here and see. It will show me. Okay, that runs. Now I think I'm going to turn right there. I don't want to keep going forward. So I'm going to move this. And then, well, I would only want to take one step after we turn, right? That's where the, all right, let's try that. And you just want to look at the code and remember it runs in order. Using step is really helpful. Hmm. All right. Now let's see what we're doing. Move forward. Turn right. That looks good. Uh-oh. Nope. Wrong way. And we can always use step to see. Step. Yep. Move forward. Turn right. Yikes. Nope. Want to turn left. Let's try that again. And you really want to go through it one at a time to see what's going on. It gets really confusing when there's a whole bunch left. No, that must be a right. Yeah, so let's, I had to reset it because I changed this. Let's try that. And just go through each piece one at a time. Boom. Onward. Oh, wow. Wow. Now we have a bunch of stuff. We can't get rid of these gray ones, though. So let's see what's going on. Oh, we have an error or a bug. So I'm going to hit step here. Yep, that one looks fine. Now I'm going to hit step again. That looks fine. Now I'm about to turn. Oh, wait, I'm not. I'm going to move forward. That's a bad idea. Let's go ahead and use a turn right here. Notice how I just drag those instead of adding code. And then let's see what it does now. Good. Move forward. Move forward. Oh, too many move forward still. Okay, well, let me boom. Turn right, move forward, move forward, turn right. And then two more move forwards. Let's try this. Now, there might be a shorter way to do this in code, too. So we've used nine out of nine blocks. Oh. Onward. Ooh, this one looks tricky. Let's step step through it. So we are we have too many blocks. There's ten here and we only need nine. I turn right. Oh, already see our error there. And notice how we can just watch it if we step through. That looks good. Now let's move forward and move. Oh, oh, you have what are you doing to me? And then you got to turn right. That looks good. Move forward twice. That looks good. Turn right. Maybe I can get rid of this one. Let's see. Yeah. Onward. Oh, we are so ready for this challenge. Let's see what the code does thus far. Move forward. Oh, too many steps. Alrighty. Jeez. All right. It looks like I need to turn, and I think it's a left turn. And then I'm going to move forward twice. Let's see. Let's step. Okay, move forward. That looks good. Left, yep. Step, yep. Step, yep. Left, yep. Right. No, I don't want to go right. No, 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 no. I can see an error. I need to move forward, then go right, and then I think move forward. Let's give this a shot. And notice how I'm just stepping through it one piece at a time. That's exactly how you want to approach code. It gets really confusing if you try to solve every bit at once. Boom. Onward. Now, let's see here. Oh, yeah, multiple choice. Keep in mind, when you click an answer and you hit run, your answer is submitted to your teacher. If I'm your teacher, that's me. So make sure you think about this. You really want to understand these. They come back and haunt you later on if you don't get them. So if I explain this and you're still not getting it, watch this part again. All right, look for bugs in the code. We'll scratch reach the acorn. All right, one step at a time. When I hit run, click for pretend. Move forward, plop, okay. Move forward, plop, okay. Then I turn right. Sometimes I hold up my hands like an L and an like an L and a backwards L, so I get this correct. 
So will he turn right? Mm, yep, this is this way for him. So yep. And then I move forward once. Yep. And then I move forward twice. Yep. And then where do I need to go? I'm standing facing this way. Oh, I turn left? Uh-oh. That would be this way. Uh-oh. And then I die. Uh, I should have turned right. He turns the wrong way, right? I think I'm turning the wrong way. And if this isn't making sense, again, go back and look at, watch this again. You want to fiddle around with it. It's really important to understand these. Onward. Ooh, and now, okay, now we just have to figure out our own way. Cool. I would recommend, especially starting out one block at a time, move forward. Where does that get me? Yep. And this seems annoying at first, but it gets to be a really great idea. So now let's make sure that gets me far enough. One step, two step, three step. That looks good. And then I'm going to turn right, I believe. And I'm going to try and move forward. Victory! We did it! Ooh, bonus level time. Hope Scratch decide which way to turn to get the acorn. Okay, well, let's do this like we have been. Basically, one block at a time. I'm going to hit go move forward. Then what? Hmm. I think right. And then maybe two move forwards. And let's see where this gets us. Always check your code as you go. Boom. Boom. Okay, now what am I going to want to do? I think I'll want to turn right. And then what? One, two, three, four, move forward. And then I think I'll turn right again. And I'll try and move forward. Let's test all this, though. That I could have an error. You want to test as much as possible. <laughs> okay, and it looks like I need one more move forward, turn right, and a move forward. Oh, and look, we used the perfect amount, 15 blocks. Oh, do I gotta, maybe I'll zoom out. Boom. Now, this is totally correct. If you want to be fancy, we can even use this repeat block. So we haven't seen a ton of it, but for instance, I move forward, what, four times in a row here? So instead of saying that... Maybe I want to do something like this, just to mix it up. And that will do the same thing. It makes me do it automatically. Yeah. Next. Okay, now let's see. Let's do this one. Oh, wow. This one looks complicated, but I'm noticing maybe we can go up like stairs. So I'm going to just start throwing stuff down. Move forward. Turn right. Move forward. Turn left. Move forward. Let's see. Just testing it out. Boom, 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 boom. Yep, okay. Now what I want to do. Well, from here, it looks like I, I don't know, turn right, move forward, turn left, move forward, and just keep going over and over, right? Because it's a, uh, it's steps, and steps are kind of a pattern. Let's see. Oh, it's grumpy at us, though. Huh. Yeah, that's looking good. So why is it mad? Well, we have this repeat block here. Let's see if there's any code we're saying over and over again. So I got move forward, turn right, move forward, turn left, move forward, turn right, move forward, turn left, move forward, turn... Wait a minute. What if I kept going? Well, I would need to move forward here and I would need to turn left. And even more. Wait a minute. Blup. Blup. And we can see how we're, well, we're saying the same thing over and over again. It looks like, I don't know, are there four times we're going to say this? I know we say it at least three, so I'm going to start with four. Drop that in there. Let's give that a shot. Maybe it's five. We are so close. Victory. Onward. 